welcome students in this lecture i am going to discuss the concept of uh, newton dobson method for simultaneous non linear equations what students non linear equation right on students newton dobson method Newton Raphson method for for solution of solution of simultaneous simultaneous equations simultaneous equations. Equations. Simultaneous equations. There are two equations, students. Two or more equations. Okay, dear students. Consider. Consider. Non-linear. What students here? Non-linear. Simultaneous. Simultaneous equations. Say these two. Say f of x comma y is equal to zero, and g of x comma y is equal to zero. So this is one students. This is one. Question is non-linear. Linear means linear means degree one students. Non-linear means other than one. Okay students. For example, we can give here x square plus y square y x plus x y that is equal to one students. And x square plus y is equal to two. So the first one is f and second one is j students. Those two are non-linear equations. Okay students. Now we are finding solutions students. We are finding solutions. Solution means we are finding, we are finding exactly. We are finding x value and y value. We are finding x value and y value. For that. Uh, They are starting approximate value, students. Okay, students. They are starting approximate value from approximation to go to exact value. Approximation to exact value. So that I am taking here initial approximation, students. First, students, initial approximation. Initial approximation. Say here, students, initial approximation x not. And y not students. For students, initial approximation x not and y not. Okay, students. X not y not. Sometimes he mentioned in the problem, students. Sometimes he mentioned in the problem. Sometimes he not mentioned in the problem, students. Okay. If you mention, okay. Say by taking the value x not and y not. When he not mentioned in the problem, x not y not. Then the process is here, students. I'm taking uh, there. We are taking x is equal to y, students. You substitute either one or e two, either one or two. Then you get uh, x y, students. Either x or y. So the value I'm considered as x not y not is equal to that value, students. Suppose we get here one point two. So the uh, x y is one point two. X not y not is one point two. Or one point five. It is one point five. Is it clear, students? Once again, sometimes he mention in the problem x not and y not students. Okay, if he mention, okay. If he not mention, or students, if he not mention, then take x is equal to y. Or students, x is equal to y. You substitute either in one or two students, either in one or two. Then you get x value or y value students. What's the difference? Suppose uh, you got x value one point two. So that value is say x not y not is equal to one point two. X not y not is equal to one point two or one point five or two point six. That is whatever the value you get, you get the students there, right? That is the initial approximation. Very very important students, right? After getting the initial approximation x not and y not, you substitute these two points in one. In one students, so that we get here, say, y of x not. 
f of x naught and y naught. You substitute these two values given functionally equal to students. Say f of x naught y naught is say it is f naught. Okay, students, and then uh, you substitute in the second equation, students, you get here g of x naught and y naught. Say it is g naught. Okay, student, g naught. Now, there is this small notation, students, dou f by dou x at x is equal to x naught. Say it is, the notation is denoted by here, dou f by dou x naught. That means you find exactly dou f by dou x naught. Similarly, you find, students, dou f by dou y naught. Or tell students find dou g by dou x naught and dou g by dou y naught. Okay, students, you find dou f by dou x naught. Dou f by dou x naught means students dou f by dou x at x is equal to x naught. Dou f by dou y naught students. Dou f by dou y naught means dou f by dou y. You substitute y is equal to y naught. Y is equal to y naught. Similarly, dou g by dou x naught means dou g by dou x at x is equal to x naught. Do g by do y not means students, do g by do y at y is equal to y not. You find all these values students. Thereby we have two equations students. We have two equations. Uh, what are the uh, equations here? F not plus h into do f by do x not plus k into do f by do y not plus sorry z equal to 0. The second equation is g not plus h into do g by do x naught plus k into do g by do y naught is equal to 0. Say this is 2 students. Now, we check one condition students. What is the condition j of f of g? j of f of g. You already learn in first semester students in partial differentiation. In partial differentiation you learn J. What is J students? J is very good. J is Jacobian. What students? J is Jacobian. Jacobian of f of comma g students. What is Jacobian f of comma g? Determinant of dou f by dou x naught dou f by dou y naught dou g by dou x naught dou g by dou y naught. This value, determinant value, always not equal to zero, students. You always check this value, students. You always check this value. The value is always not equal to zero. Then we get here, students. Then we get unique solution. What, students? Unique solution. When j of f of comma g value not equal to zero, then we get unique solution. Okay, students, we have one theorem, students. The theorem statement also the same. Okay, right. Now, now, solve, solve two students. Solve two. Then you got, we get, we get h, comma k values, students. h, comma k values. If you solve two, now solve two, we get h, comma k values. Okay, students. Now, new approximation, when you get h, k values, new approximation, new approximation, new approximation, x1 is equal to, what students, x0 plus h. What students, x0 plus h. Because, what is x0 students? Previously, we have x0. And h students, you get here h. And, and y1 students. So, y1 as y0 plus k students, we have another value k. So, y1 value is y0 plus k. So, the second approximation is say x1 and y1. x1 and y1. Then, again, students, what is the first step here, students? When we know x0 and y0, we are finding f of x0 and y0. So, again, you start here, students, like f of x1, y1. That is equal to students f1. g of x1 and y1. That is equal to g1. This time you find students dou f by dou x1. dou f by dou y1. dou g by dou x1. dou g by dou y1. You find all the values students. Now what we get here again the equation students? What we get, the, what we get here students? What are the equations we get here? 
common denominators f1 plus h into do f by do x1 plus k into do f by do y1 that is equal to zero. Okay, so now second equation g1 plus h into do f by sorry this g do g by do x1 plus k into do g by do y1 that is equal to zero. So this is three equation students. Again you check students here j of f of again you check here students what is the value j of f of j of f comma g again the value is not equal to zero. Please remember this, this value always not equal to zero. Then you get then you get students again h comma k values here h comma k values h comma k values students. Now this time students you take x2 students x2 new approximation new approximation new approximation x2 students. What is x2? Very good. x1 plus h and y2 students y1 plus k y1 plus k okay, so you repeat this uh, you repeat this repeat the process repeat the process repeat the process until until you get you get required accuracy okay students until you get the required accuracy root accuracy accuracy root see students here once again the professor he given nonlinear equation students nonlinear equation initial approximation is x naught and y naught students by substituting in the given functions you get f naught and g naught we are finding dou f by dou x at x is equal to x naught students that is dou f by dou x naught and dou f by dou y at y is equal to y naught students it is dou f by dou y naught and similarly we find dou g by dou x naught dou g by dou y naught then we have a equation students what is the equation f naught plus h into dou f by dou x naught plus k into dou f by dou y naught is equal to zero and g naught plus h into dou g by dou x naught plus k into dou g by dou y naught is equal to zero before solve this equation, we check one condition, students. What is condition? Jacobian of f comma g. And remember, students, this value is always not equal to zero. You can only get unique solution. Otherwise, no solution. You cannot get unique solution. Right now, we solve two students. We solve these two, we get h comma k value students. Then we get new approximation students. That means we started here x naught and y naught is solution of solution of the given equation students approximately we start ok students approximately we start at the stage we get here very very uh, a little bit near group students for these equations ok students uh, x1 and y1 x1 is x naught plus h and y1 is y naught plus k ok students now f of x1 y1 is f1 g of x1 y1 is g1 Similarly, you find as previous case students, do f by do x1, do f by do y1, do g by do x1, do g by do y1. Okay, students. Again, uh, you write 1 in place of not students, 0. You get a equation students. Again, you check the condition j of f comma g is not equal to 0. Then you get h comma k by students. Again, the new approximation is x2 is equal to x1 plus h and y2 is equal to y1 plus k. You repeat the process, students, until you get the required accuracy root. That means that if, if there are three decimal places are equal, at two approximations, then we get the required root, students. Then we get the required root. What happens, students, in the textbook? In the textbook, he mentioned this in the first student. See what he mentioned in the textbook. If x naught plus h and y naught plus k, the root students. The root means whenever you substitute it here, you substitute it here, it satisfies the equation, obviously. Okay, students. So that he substituted in the given function, students. He substituted in the given function f of x naught plus h, y naught plus k, and g of x naught plus h, y naught plus k. That is equal to 0 students. That is equal to 0. 
Here he apply Tyler's expansion students. Tyler's expansion. Tyler's expansion. Tyler's expansion. You already learn in partial differentiation students. Tyler's expansion. What is Tyler's expansion students? What is Tyler's expansion? f of x plus h comma y plus k that is a of x comma y plus h into do f by do x plus k into do f by do y plus some strong students. This is the Tyler's expansion. He applies the concept here students. f of x plus h y plus k. If I apply here students, what happens here? f of x naught plus h comma y naught plus k that is a equal to we get expansion students like uh, f of x naught y naught plus h into do f by do x naught plus k into do f by do y naught plus and so on. Similarly, applying the Tyler's expansion for the second equation students, we get here uh, x naught plus h comma y naught plus k that is equal to g of x naught comma y naught plus h into do g by do x naught comma do k into do g by do y naught. Plus and so on. Okay, students. See students here. F naught h into do by do x naught plus k into do by do naught. See students here we get first three terms. We are neglecting higher order terms here students. We are neglecting higher order terms. Similarly, see students here. First three terms in g of x naught plus h and y naught plus we get here students. Okay, students. In this way we get these two equations, students. In this way, we get these two equations. And remember one thing here, students. We are neglecting the higher order terms. We are neglecting the higher order terms, students. Okay, in the textbooks, he given like this, students. Yeah, this is the root. Then we get Tyler's expansion. Okay, students. Uh, thereby, he, he checked the condition j of f comma g is not equal to 0. Then the new approximation is x is equal x1 is equal x1 plus h and y is equal y1 is equal y0 plus k, students. Why not plus k? Okay, students. If I if I explain uh, first here, it may be confusion, students. It may be confusion. So that uh, uh, I explain the concept uh, which is suitable to solve the problems directly, students. Okay, students. Hope you understand. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Jai.